my thought was, let's get the bison out here since this stuff is broke up. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Crosstimers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. If you didn't catch the recent video, here's what happened. For the first time at the Crosstimers Bison Ranch, AKA the Ponderosa, we started a cover crop project. The first thing I did is I brush hog pasture too to try to get a lot of the weeds out of the pasture and left a six to eight inch height of grass. After that, my brother-in-law, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, brought his TYM tractor and his wood super cedar over. Our seed mixture included rye, oats, crimson clover, and hairy vetch. Oh, you still got quite a bit of the legume. Using the super cedar, we planted roughly 15 acres of this seed mixture. Now, we're just waiting on it to rain. Then I had an idea to help really make sure that the seeds got in the ground. We decided to let the bison in. Be very careful though, there's, there is blades in the bottom. <laughs> careful, babe. You got her, Dusty? Uh -huh. <laughs> I can put the dog you. I'm gonna go ahead and add another Ooh, pound of rye. Of so, here. Just keep it in there. We also need to go. So the point of, you know, when we did that drill, you see it kind of broke it up some and it, 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 it tills it. And then I see right there, there's a crimson clover uh, seed right there. And then 
the uh, teeth or the bits kind of push it down in. So, so you have the till and then you have the bits or you have the seeds and then the bits that push it down in these grooves. But to me, that's perfect. See that seed sitting right down in there. That's awesome. So my thought was, let's get the bison out here since this stuff is broke up. Yep, see right there, see the capsules, or see that little seed right there? All these little seeds, make sure they get in the ground, have the bison come over and step them, just like they would in nature. They use those big prints, the way that hoof is shaped, push those seeds back in the ground. Big guys like Big Joe here, who's been hanging out in the pond. Can see. So we're gonna leave them in here for I don't know how many days, but we're gonna leave them in here. What do you think? Two or three days maybe. And then what we'll do is uh, after two or three days, we'll pull them back out. And then hopefully we get some moisture in between here and there. And uh, that's what we need because typically we get more moisture in the fall. Um, we miss the rain. The rain, it rained, I don't know, about five days ago, four or five days ago, but it moistened the ground and made it softer. So then we could put the seed out. Uh, two weeks ago, I would have said, no way. There's no way we could have done it because the ground was so hard. But a little bit of moisture has opened us an uh, opportunity uh, because the ground softened up a little bit so we could get that no-till drill and put those seeds down. So there's Bell Star. She's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. That was our first cow that ever lost a calf. Um, this problem with the uh, birthing. Um, she lost it during the, I think she had a complication of the uh, birthing. So anyways, there's some regrowth out here since they've been out here. They've been off this for, oh, a couple weeks now. And then I brush hogged it and then seeded And then I'm gonna let them back on to scatter the seeds, push them back in for a couple days. I am curious how this all plays in like, you know, the, whenever you plant, it's going to grow, right? right? So it's going to drown out some of the weeds, right? It should. You so, hope so. So once it dies off, then the native grass comes up. Is that how that should work? So what we just planted is a cool season grass, right? Rye is a cool season grass and it's an annual rye. So it only comes up once a year, but as soon as it gets hot, once, once 85, 86, 87, once it hits that temperature next May, June, typically here, it fries it. It just kills it. So the idea is that we've planted it and the seeds are here. You got crimson clover, rye, oats, and some hairy vetch sitting in here, right where that calf's stepping and uh, Big Joe is too. The idea is that it grows over the cool season, but we have to give this pasture at least like 90 days rest. At least 90 days. And that depends on moisture, so we'll... <laughs> Maya? Maya? He's unsure of you, and here comes Mama. The 54, the jump. <laughs> Maya, that's a good idea, Maya, isn't it? That's a good girl, Maya. And don't mess with the Mama cow. <laughs> Well, he, uh, he or she, she acts just like her mom. She's usually one of the ones that comes up closest to us. And there's the big guy. He's sticking around close because he wants some cubes. He looks heavy. He looks good. He's coming over to see him. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, a little too close. Mm -hmm. We better move a little bit and get that close. I'm big okay. Tomorrow we'll give them some cubes. We'll let them graze a little bit since they're out here. But this is a good example of an area that was kind of bare and low and it's always been kind of low since we bought this place. And we've had the Ponderosa. The grass has always been really short here and has never, never grown up that well. Um, but you can kind of see where they're stepping at. There's not a lot of growth right there and it's always been like that. I'm not sure why, the soil must be bad here. I'm not exactly sure. So I was really sure to till this and you can kind of see my rows here. So that's why I really try to cover these spots. And this pasture too, this is where an old actual 
accidental burn came through and it's been bare since then. I mean, it's had recovery time and stuff, but it's just been one of those low spots where the grass doesn't get very tall. I really tried to drill it um, as well. So you kind of see these lines here and the idea is for them to come through and sort of stomp it in the ground. They're not gonna cover every single square inch of this place where where this all went through. But um, we've been getting some dew in the mornings, which is really nice. Um, so that's why I planted it during the day after the ground kind of dried up and hopefully keep getting some of that dew in the mornings that lays down on top of it. And that'd be really helpful considering we are not in the forecast to get some rain anytime soon that we know, but it's Oklahoma and you never know. Jumper. You had enough? No. <laughs> I thought we were bison ranching today. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're playing on the phone. They're just hanging out, waiting on us, aren't they? Yeah. Like, Give me some cubes. Cubes tomorrow. You guys grace.
Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.